Hey everybody, welcome to another one of my videos. This one we're going to be talking about Astra Militarum or Imperial Guard Primaris Psyker. Primaris Psyker is a regimental advisor or regimental specialist. If you watched my other videos, I have predicted that regimental advisors and specialists are going to become one of the main points for this type of army, for the Astra Militarum. Um, now we're talking about the Primaris Psyker. And as far as I understand it, I don't have the memorized uh, rules for the Imperial Guard Codex in my head, but the Primaris Psyker is not, is a step up from the, um, what do they call them? Scholastica Psychana Psyker, or the Psyker that they have there. It, well, anyways, the Primaris Psyker, let's just start with a stat line. It's Weapon Skill 4, Ballistic Skill 4, Strength 3, Toughness 3, Wounds 2, Initiative 3, Attacks 2, Leadership 9, Saving Throw 5. <clears throat> he comes with Flak Armor, Laz Pistol, Frag Grenades, and here's the bump up, a Force Weapon, and a Refractor Field. He's an independent character, so he can swap between units. He's a, a level 1 Psyker. They still have the standard, it's for your own good, uh, special rule, which means that if the Primaris Psyker suffers a Perils of the Warp roll or failure, while at the, at the same unit as a Commissar of any type, Lord or regular, the Primaris Psyker will be executed. After resolving the usual effects, remove the Primaris Psyker uh, as a casualty. Now, this is cool because I don't believe the other Psyker in the Imperial Guard Codex was an independent character. Uh, it was just a part of the command squad. This is an independent character, so you're probably, if you don't want to put him in a unit with a Commissar, that's pretty easy to do, which means you don't even have to worry about it's for your own good anymore. Now, what does he use? The Psyker gets their abilities from Biomancy divination, pyromancy, and telekinesis. Like I said, these, these, these guys are really going to start becoming uh, the mainstays of this army when you imagine how many units these can be attached to. Um, and now with these buffed up stat lines... You can really even build a whole Psyker army. Well, not Psyker army, but you understand around those disciplines. And now the other two uh, advisors or specialists, I should say, are, are the Engine Seers and the Servitors, which I predict is going to be a mainstay for anybody who has a tank army. Uh, the Engine Seer... We already know as a tech priest. He comes now, but uh, with power armor, las pistol, power axe, servo arm, frag grenades, and crack grenades. He's now also an a, a, a independent character. Stat lines are a standard guard stat line, though. So it's 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 1 3 1 leadership 8, uh, saving throw 3 plus. He has this special ability, Awaken the Machine, which means in each of your shooting phases, instead of firing her weapons, the Engine Seer may choose a single friendly Astra Militarum vehicle within 12 inches, and that vehicle gains the power of the Machine Spirit special rule until the end of the turn. As I said, you can imagine these guys are going to become a mainstay of any tank company. Uh, and, and, and it's not even done there. Um, blessings of the Omnissiah. In each of your shooting phases, instead of firing her weapons, an engine seer may choose to repair a single friendly vehicle. If she, sees, if she is in base-to-base -base contact or embarked upon it. Inside, inside of it, it can still be repaired. To repair a vehicle, roll a d6. Add a 1 for each servitor with a server arm in the unit. 
If the result is five or more, you may either restore a hull point lost early in battle or repair a weapon damaged or immobilized result suffered earlier in the battle. This is effective immediately. And obvious. <laughs> You can imagine that now, if you're going to be a tank or vehicle-focused army, that you're going to have probably another little small army of these guys piled into a, a Chimera or a, or a Torox. Because now we go on to the Servitor, which is a basic Servitor. It's basically an infantry, and it comes with a, um, with a servo arm. And it also has the standard mine lock. So what that means is that if it's not in a unit with an engine seer, an unengaged unit that contains one model with this special rule must roll a d6 at the start of the turn. On a 4 plus, it has no effect. On a uh, 1, 2, or 3, you can't do anything. Um, a mind lock unit may not voluntarily move, shoot, charge, and orders issued to it have no effect. A mind lock unit must still complete compulsory moves, though such as pile in and fall back. But that's where your servo arm comes from. So now you could imagine an engine seer, and then with some servitors, I don't know how many you can max out with, but you're going to get plus one for each one. And on a five or more, you rev so you could imagine being in like a Torox Prime or something. Well, I think that's only the Scions. That was Zooming around with an engine seer and three or four servitors attached to him, popping out, landing next to a tank, making a roll, it get or or even an imperial knight, making a roll, it gets, um, you know, a hull point back. It's really these guys. These guys are going to become some of the mainstays of of all of the different types of army. Now, if you watch my other videos with the cohort tactic. These guys, the advisors and the specialists, these are what I call under the HQ or, or, or uh, uh, the command units. These are going to be the people running around at the back of your army, enabling your other units and models to get the job that they are supposed to do done. And that's really the role of any leadership units in an army. Um, <clears throat> I hope you like this. More videos to come. And I will see you next time. Until then, stay a happy gamer.